Hello everybody. This is a video to show you how to how to work with ULX, a MATLAB-based educational software, which uh, can help students and practitioners to, to simulate leakage in water distribution networks. The first of all is that uh, you have to download the, the software in this uh, in this website. This is uh, of course the software is, is completely free. And, uh, and you can directly download it in this in this website. From my personal website, you have a direct link to uh, to that software. And now you have uh, you are able to download the, the all these files. If you press here, just clicking here, you download the files. Later on. When you download the files, uh, for instance, me, I have downloaded, I have uh, added all these, uh, all these uh, documents here in that path. See, MATLAB leakage. Okay, so in order to make the software run. Uh, after, uh, after that, uh, you have to open MATLAB. Of course, you, you, should, uh, you, you should have installed uh, a MATLAB, uh, a software like MATLAB. And here you have to you you have to write the path in which you have all these uh, these documents uh, inserted after downloaded from the web. Now, when you are here, you have to you are you, when you have to run the software. First of all, you have to click all this. Uh, you have to click this. Um, this uh, you have to add this because here I am saying to the MATLAB I am saying to MATLAB that the compiler of my program will be uh, it, it is located in that in that path I'm saying that this is my compiler and I'm saying that this is the path where my compiler is of course you can change this path and you can add uh, the path uh, that you that you prefer. Later on, you're you're allowed you are allowed to run the software. So you have to you click UA leaks version 03. And then when you when you run that code, you see all uh, you, you see the 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 GUI we have developed to make you run this software. Here you have some information in help about us. The, the developers, me and, and Adrian Riquelme, who developed that software. Uh, and now you have input data, which is located here, and output data here. Finally, you have a window in which you will see the evolution of your software. The point is that here you, you, have, you can load the water distribution network. That network for instance, uh, is the network A that I have selected for here. It is that software I'm going to show you here. That is the network we use in the in, in that course in in, in in this year in the Master of uh, Civil Engineering. Uh, all my students uh, added uh, leakage to that network. So. I know that that's, that network is uh, works fine, and we're going to to make it run. Okay, so we have to tell them you have to tell the software these three data, which is maximum number of iteration. The, so the system tells you that uh, it has to be more than fifty. If you if you try to introduce ten, for instance, the software tells you no, no, you are, you have to introduce at least uh, fifty. Instead of that, if you introduce 100, the system tells you, okay, you will have to wait for maybe a little more or maybe not. And here we have two more data, the hydraulic performance and the accuracy. Hydraulic performance means the quotient between the ejected water and, no, sorry, between the registered water or consumed water by final users divided by injected water into the system. So everybody really knows that uh, this, uh, this point, this uh, network efficiency, 0.75, we perfectly understand that it means that 75% of the water injected into the system is 
uh, is consumed by final users. And the other 25% is, is lost through leakage. So everybody understand this, uh, this parameter and that's the reason that we are using in that software. And finally, yeah, well, of course, uh, this uh, network efficiency, the hydraulic performance cannot be higher than one. Of course, it's an error. It's impossible to consume much water than water was injected into the system. And if, the, if, that, uh, doc, if it is below 0.5, the system tells you, come on, you have a lot of problems in your network, so there's no point in, in spending some time trying to reach that uh, water efficiency level. So, for instance, we can say 0.75, and then we have the accuracy. It means it, this, this parameter should, uh, should be between, uh, point, uh, the, between uh, 0.001 and 1 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 7. So here we can accept that value as a, as a, as a good value for us. When we have a, when we loaded the network, suddenly this run button uh, uh, was uh, available to be clicked. So when we click it, the system starts to calculate. So it appeared that, and then we will get data results here. We will also get we have the data finally. Here, if you you can see that the new model has been saved in that path. So now see MATLAB leakage 75 new A IMP. And it appears here. So that's the new network with that uh, network efficiency calculated. So we have that model. And finally, that's it would be the primary result. But finally, we also have two more data, the water audit, the water audit and the energy audit. Both are represented in numbers and also in graphs. Here we, we have, okay, the volume injected into the system, 4,435.16 cubic meters. It has been injected into the system. And then 3,326.4 3, has been consumed in water taps, in taps. And 1108.76 has lost through leakage. So we we well we calculated the, the error, which is zero percent. So these numbers are quite accurate. This is the volume stored in tanks. If there is any tank in our network, maybe some water can be stored in the tanks, or maybe it, it can be released, injected uh, into the system by the tank. So that's not the case. So the, the volume store or, or release by tanks is equal to zero. And finally, we have the final the simulation period. It means 24 hours. It means that we have make a daily simulation. And here we have the final uh, hydraulic performance, which, as you may guess, it is quite similar to here. But the point, if you if, if you have a look at that, you will see that the result is more or less the same, but uh, in an accuracy of, of 10 raised minus 5. So it means that it, 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 it seems changes in the sixth, sixth decimal. Okay. Moreover, we can see the energy audit in numbers and also in graphs here. The natural energy represents the quantity of energy injected by the reservoir. Okay, this uh, it means that 645.72 kilowatts per hour have been added to the system. But as there are no pumps, there is no, there are no pumps, so no energy has been added by by pumps. So all the energy has been uh, supplied by the by the by the reservoir we, we will have to think about later if uh, why we had to, to to why we consider this natural energy as uh, better energy than pump energy 
course, if we are the water managers, we will have to pay for for the pumping energy. We will we, we have an electricity cost and all that stuff. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, water uh, has reached that reservoir because of someone or maybe some other utilities should have uh, injected, should have taken a lot of energy in reaching that point. Well, that's not the point in, in, our, in our software. And now we have all the output energy that has been released here, uh, which, is, which are 329.75 kilowatts per hour that have been released on, the, on taps. My consumers taps, uh, when they get some water, some then it, it, it arises at the despressurization, and then some energy has converted into tap water. And there, at the end of the day, it is useful energy. What I want as a water utility manager or as a network manager is that all the energy that I introduce into the system uh, is converted into water uh, consumption. Moreover, you have, uh, we have uh, some other information as leakage energy, 128.95, which is energy loss through losses, through water losses, and friction in pipes, 187.02. This is energy dissipate, dissipated through friction in pipes. If there are, if, if there are valves, pressure regulating valves, for instance, there are some energy that are dissipated in valves. So it, it will, the system will also calculate that. No valves here, so zero are the energy dissipated in valves in our, in our study. And finally, is energy stored in tanks. If uh, we had a tank, some energy can be stored or released uh, in, in tanks. Finally, we have an error of the zero percent. So with this, we have uh, ended the, the ULX analysis. The system pretends to be easy to, to make it work, to, easy, to, 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 um, uh, easy to use by the, by, the, by the professional or the student. And I, I, we hope you to, to, to calculate uh, many network using, using it. Thank you.